Question 141. Read the following statements and choose the correct option. Statement A. Digestion is a mechanical and biochemical process. Statement B. Conversion of complex food substances to simple absorbable forms is called digestion. And then various combinations of correct and incorrect statements are given students. Uh, let's go over statement A. Digestion is a mechanical and biochemical process. Right? Mechanical process involves physically breaking down the food into smaller pieces and it begins in the mouth when we start chewing the food or with mastication and it occurs from mouth to stomach stomach also has churning movements which aids in mechanical digestion of the food whereas the biochemical process is with the help of using special digestive enzymes and it breaks down the food into simple nutrients that can be used by the cells this yes it is a mechanical and biochemical process statement a is correct both the statements are correct the right answer here would be option number one both statements are correct question number 142 a narrow finger like tubular projection that is the vermiform appendix arises from rectum cecum colon ileum Students, we know cecum is a pouch-like structure. It receives undigested food from this small intestine and it connects the small intestine to the colon. So cecum is the pouch from where we can see this finger-like tubular projection coming out, also known as vermiform appendix. Let's look at the other option, rectum. Rectum begins at the end of the large intestine, which is here, and the feces are stored here before defecation whereas colon is another name for large intestine and comprises ascending colon, transverse colon and descending colon whereas option number four ileum is the last part of small intestine so the correct answer here is cecum because vermiform appendix arises from cecum the correct option here would be option number two question 143 match column 1 with column 2 with respect to disorders of the digestive system column 1 and column 2 column 1 lists various disorders of the digestive system and column 2 lists several points about them let's go over them one by one first one vomiting vomiting as we know is the ejection of stomach contents through the mouth it's a reverse travel and this reflex action is controlled by the vomit center which is located in the medulla and often before vomiting a feeling to vomit proceeds is also known as nausea option A goes with option number four here diarrhea the diarrhea is due to abnormal frequency of the bowel movements the frequency is increased along with that the liquidity of the fecal discharge is also increased and since the undigested food passes very quickly from the intestines the absorption of the food is very much reduced so diarrhea results in reduced absorption of food option B goes with 3 option 3 constipation constipation occurs when feces are retained within the rectum for longer than usual as the bowel movements occurs irregularly option C goes with option 2 here and lastly in indigestion the food is not properly digested leading to a feeling of fullness and indigestion could be caused by several causes some being that it could be due to inadequate or excess enzyme secretion due to anxiety food poisoning overeating or even by spicy food so option D here goes with option 1 the correct answer here is option number 4 answer is 4 question number 144 choose the incorrect statement with respect to marasmus children's marasmus is one of the important protein energy malnutrition protein energy malnutrition is of two types it occurs when there is lack of adequate quantity of protein or carbohydrate or both it's of two types kwashiorkor or marasmus Let's go over the option. In marasmus, impaired growth and replacement of tissue proteins is seen. That is right. Thin limbs and prominent ribs. That is also correct because the body is emaciated. A lot of weight loss. So this is thin limbs and prominent ribs. 
this is also correct because the body is emaciated with weight loss so ribs become prominent dry and wrinkled skin is also seen in marasmus found in children more than one year of age that is incorrect marasmus is characteristically seen in children below the age of one year so this is incorrect and becomes our answer here the correct answer is option number four Question 145. Select the mismatch with respect to secretions listed and their source. Column 1, Column 2, Gallbladder, Digestive Enzymes, Auxintic Cells, HCL, Peptic Cells, Pepsinogen, Neck Cells, Mucus. Gallbladder stores bile and bile is composed of bile pigments, bile salts, cholesterol and phospholipids but no enzymes are seen. This is a mismatch, no digestive enzyme is present in gallbladder. Auxintic cells also known as parietal cells they secrete HCL and intrinsic factor. So this is correct. Peptic cells secrete proenzyme pepsinogen that is correct and mucus neck cells secrete mucus this is also correct. The mismatch here is option number one gallbladder digestive enzymes which makes it our right answer. Answer is one. 